Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well, you beautiful, beautiful, amazing, wonderful people. You're looking absolutely amazing, I must say. Well done, you. What are we talking about? I'm going to get straight into the meat and potatoes and make this as short as possible because we're going to have a busy day today. We've just talked about the alibi, the alibi and the Brian Koberger situation, Idaho 4 case, and later on we're doing a live. But for this, right here, we're talking about Caleb Harris. Caleb Harris is the young man who disappeared, vanished, poof, like a fart in the wind after going outside to wait for food, wait for food. You know, he's he, he's he's seen on camera, he's with his mates, they're looking after a dog, walking a dog, he's gone fishing later that day, and he decides to order some food in, not food for eating now, food to take on his trip, and somewhere, after all this, he, he vanishes, gone, but guess what, there's been a bit of a change, there's been some developments, been some developments, and we're going to touch on it, here we go. So look, this is the um, the kind of the official page, if you like, for following it. And what they're saying is there's been a timeline change. And that is allegedly Caleb was seen by a witness walking his dog around 3.40 a.m. under the overpass at SPID. Tony, which is a spokesperson for the family, has said they're in, a, they're in a live. He's unsure of how the dog got back to the apartment. This is important because we believed that he'd gone missing. I'm going to come back to something in a minute because it's an accident. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, so this is important because it, we was kind of led to believe that he'd potentially gone missing much earlier. Um, but yeah, so they're saying that, yeah, he was potentially going out with the, they'd all gone out and they were playing about the dog and then the dog had gone back into the house. He had then gone back out. They, they imagined to wait for this food. He'd taken like a photograph of like a, a footbridge that go, you know, a bridge that goes over some water by the road, by up on the main road. But yeah, now it would appear that witnesses, I don't know why they've now come forward there's been like a, a, over a month and yeah they've finally come forward actually i i saw him he was he was walking his dog so he's gone back out with the dog and was seen at 3 40 a.m so how did the dog get back to the apartment did he go back to the apartment drop the dog off and then venture back outside and that's when he's gone missing See what I mean? Bit of a problem there. Because when the food delivery, that was a contactless delivery, and I always thought, you know what, maybe he he, he arranged a, contact, a contactless delivery because he knew he wasn't going to be there. His mates had all said they're turning in for the night, going to sleep. So perhaps he knew he weren't going to be there, ordered contactless, so they didn't knock on the door, wake everyone up, they'd just drop the food down, they'd get the food. But the delivery driver for the food has turned up, delivered the food, apparently didn't see him and left i don't know whether it's been confirmed exactly what time the food came um like if i just go back through here um that doesn't make sense but food was left on the porch no signs on any cameras there's been some confusion over the cameras the camera is on a different door and the generally the door that was being used on this night in question was the other side of the house um in terms of the accident, because there was an accident up on the main road as well, the accident was on the 3rd and Caleb disappeared on the 4th. So the, the the accident didn't happen on the same night. I think some people thought that the accident actually happened on the same night as what he went missing. But um, no, it's not. But there you go. There you go. So this is um, this is the latest in the Caleb. He's still missing. He's, he's still missing. Um, nowhere to be seen. Like I say, got up, vanished, disappeared like a fart in the wind, and the family need help. There's a fifty thousand dollar reward for anyone who can give any information that would lead to him being found. There's a lot of rumours going about, a lot of things flying about regarding Reddit accounts and different bits and pieces that have kind of perpetuated some rumours that I feel some of them may hold weight in terms of was he planned on meeting someone? Did he jump into a car? Did he go? In my personal opinion, I don't believe that's the case. I believe that potentially there was an accident, someone's hit him, perhaps they were under the influence, they've clouted him, put him in the car, and they've took him away from the site. But this does change things. This timeline change is important because it means that he went back out, back out with the dog, 
and at 20 to 4 he was seen so that means he would have gone missing technically perhaps after I don't know 4 o'clock in the morning you know that, that window of something happening is um, is rarely starting to close let me know what you think we hope that he is found safe and well but the clock is ticking Something happened. I believe he was taken away from the area. What happened? Did you see anything happen in this area at this later and adjusted time frame? Let me know down below. I'll catch you all in the next one.